It has been nearly 15 years since HBO's Emmy Award winning series, The Sopranos, cut to black, literally. Well, this morning we're excited to have two of the wise guys from the family here, Michael Imperioli and Steve Sharipa. They are out with a new book that spills some behind the scenes secrets from the show. Woke up this morning, the definitive oral history of The Sopranos. Good morning to both guys, of you. Guys, good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. See you guys. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, woke up this morning, you're calling it the definitive guide. The Sopranos, I can believe this, came on the air more than 20 years ago. 1999. So you've got this whole new generation of people mm -hmm. who are now watching. How much of that factored into, hey, you know what, let's put this all down in a book? Well, a lot. Um, you know, we, just this the other day on Instagram, I had all these fans sending their Halloween costumes. They were dressed as mm -hmm. Christopher and Adriana or Tony Soprano or Bobby. And they're all like in their 20s and 30s and... Uh, we've had fans send in tattoos of us on their bodies wow. and Seriously? stuff like that. Yeah, young people. So, you know, we saw a lot of interest on Instagram and stuff, and we thought, you know, let's, you know, do mm -hmm. a podcast. Well, we started new. the podcast, you mm -hmm. know, and the podcast uh, natural progression into the book, and we saw all these people doing podcasts and books that yeah. knew nothing about the show. Right. We were there, yeah. Yeah. so... That's kind of... You're the end. voice. That makes you sense. Know? That's true. We were just looking at all these, these pictures. You know, there's a lot of personal stories about the late James Gandolf Gandolfini. And you guys talk about how he had everybody's back. Mm -hmm. Why was it so important for, for you guys to tell his story, too? Or what it was like? Well, you know, Jim, uh, you know, Jim was a really good guy. He was a generous guy. And not just monetarily, which he was. And we found out after he passed away, he paid off people's mortgages. Mm. Uh, he uh, gave people money. He went to a funeral of a New Jersey police officer mm. that he did not know. Wow. Just went in by himself. And he was a generous guy. Like, he would say, you want another take? You're happy with that? Mm -hmm. Robert Isla, who played AJ, they wanted him to shave his eyebrows. Mm -hmm. And he said, are you sure you want to do this, Jim <laughs> said? Because they may not grow back. And he changed his mind. So he was always looking out for the other guy, the crew, you know. That's just the kind of guy he was. And, and not only did you have some great you know, guest stars, you know, uh, Ben Kingsley, Julia Margulies, Juliana Margulies, but you had folks who, just fans of the show, some pretty famous folks showing up. What was it like when somebody like Muhammad Ali oh, man. shows Amazing, up on yeah. set? I got a call from my manager one day and said, Muhammad Ali wants to take you to lunch, which I was just <laughs> like, I thought I was, you know, still asleep. Um... She said, yeah, he's a fan of yours and the show. So wow. we invited him to the set. And uh, he came, showed up, uh, surprised every... The, he walked on the set and the whole crew gave a standing ovation. That oh, went on yeah. for like 15 minutes. Wow. People were crying. Like, oh. I'd never quite seen anything like mm -hmm. the effect that man had. And wow. he stayed the whole afternoon, took pictures with everybody, signed autographs. I mean, it was just... Uh, that's special. That's Incredible. awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there, obviously, there's a lot of chemistry on the set, people looking out for each other. You two are good friends now, have written this book. But talk about what it was like meeting for the first time. Ooh. And I heard, I think, one of you snubbed the other. He <laughs> snubbed me. <laughs> what? Ow. What? He big-timed me. Oh, he big-timed You know, he gave me the fish hand. They said, this is... <laughs> wait, not said, the fish hand. They oh, said, this is Steve oh, Sharpe. He's new to the show. Oh. And he gave me one of these, like, the pay no mind list. Yeah, how you doing? Oh. I is was, that true? You know, he, he, he came <laughs> Listen from Listen to me. Listen to me. He made all these outlandish... He claims he invented the term double down, like, from <laughs> Vegas. I was told to keep a distance. Oh. You know what I mean? Listen. So you were more socially I was warned. He's the coming out of Vegas. And, uh, you know. and he's still doing it to this day. How do you bounce back from the yeah, fish exactly. hand? Okay, the fish hand. But, uh, you know, then somewhere in the third season, <laughs> he came up to me after shooting the scene. He said, mm -hmm. let's go out and have a drink. And thousands of drinks right. later. I did everything are. I could to get him fired off the show. It didn't work, so I had to become friends. We had to be friends. On paper, we wouldn't be friends. He's a That's Buddhist. So he doesn't drink. He's a vegetarian. He meditates. I do everything opposite. <laughs> <laughs> on paper, we're not a match. I'm working on you, though. Wait, I love it so much. Wait, since we're all best friends now, before we leave, can you just tell me that famous cut to black at the end? Uh, we... It, we're divided on that as well. Really? No, wait, what? Steve? Tony Soprano's alive and well and eating onion rings in New Jersey. Michael? As we speak. Oh. Cut to black is his, the last thing that he sees from his oh. point of view. Mm. 
Uh, sleeping with the fish hands. Sleeping with the fish hands. Well, I choose to believe that he's eating onion rings. <laughs> he's eating onion, onion rings wow. with ketchup. We will never know. <laughs> we'll never right. know. I tried. I tried. <laughs> oh, guys, <laughs> thank you. So you guys are a delight. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Great thank you. Here. Thank yes, you right. very much. Up. Book comes out today. So Boom. Book is out today. And uh, we're at Bookends tonight in Ridgewood, New Jersey. Great. Doing a book signing, and we'll both be there taking photos. So if you got nothing to do... Come and see the two of us argue. Woke up this morning, available today, Thank and at bookends. Thank you, guys. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.